Good evening. Thanks for joining us. After 33 years on the Des Moines Police Force and nearly a decade as chief, Dango, Dana Wingert is retiring next week. In his first interview about retiring from the department, Chief Wingert sat down with KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel today. Todd, Wingert has served Des Moines for a long time. He has uh, been a Stacey Wingert and has led the department through a tough nine years. He's stepping down just before his 55th birthday and three decades on the job. He is proud of his accomplishments, but says it's time to hand over the job to someone new. Are you ready to retire? I think I am. Des Moines Police Chief Dana Winger sat down with us to look back at more than 30 years at the department, but it's the last decade that is seared into his memory. You celebrate those successes, you mourn those tragedies, but at the end of the day, uh, some of that's baggage you're going to carry with you. It's a great opportunity for me. February 2015, Police Major Dana Wingard is named Des Moines Police Chief. He prides himself in the department for not only solving crimes, but making a serious effort to build a strong relationship with the community. Des Moines is just a big, small town, and it's just chock full of great people. Uh, that's what makes it different. So being engaged in the community and being part of it, is really pretty easy in Des Moines, Iowa. He says his other success is the introduction of police body cameras. When other uh, cities and police departments across the country were pushing back on this, our folks embraced it. And you can find a patrol officer today that would go out there without one. Dispatch to 5184, Officer Farrell. 2016 turned into a tragic year for the Des Moines Police Department. Three Des Moines officers were killed in the line of duty. The loss was an emotional hit to Wingert, the department, and the city. How tough was that year for you? You know, I searched all over that office. Uh, there was no playbook for that. Uh, but when you, when you have yourself surrounded with great people, you know, you can lean on them. You know, you can get through it together. And one of the greatest challenges of Wingert's career came during the summer of 2020 and the unrest surrounding the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. The wave of anger washed over the entire country, including Des Moines. The first thing I learned is we weren't prepared, prepared and equipped to deal with that. We just weren't. But Wingert soon learned his police force and the community would survive. Through all those long hours, through all the social media canceling, all the personal attacks, all the death threats. Nobody gave up. Nobody gave They stayed the course. They came to work every single day. Uh, and in Des Moines, Iowa, because of the way it was handled, we watched the pendulum swing. Uh, there are a lot of cities in this country that can't say that. And Winger can say he's proud of the time behind the badge. My family, my wife, my kids, they put up with a lot. Uh, but they've never wavered. So, I mean, just across the board, the whole package, the department, my family, the community, uh, our friends in the media, uh, couldn't have asked for anything more. And Winger's last day in the office is October 25th. New chief Michael McTaggart officially takes over on Monday, October 28th. Winger says he does plan to stay active in Des Moines, so stay tuned for what might be next. Ben and Stacy. Okay, we will, Todd, and uh, a long uh, career. Uh, uh, good luck in retirement, Chief Winger. Thank you.